Hello people YouTube, how are you today? It is me, Abby, and today, you know, I felt like filming a get ready with me. I haven't, um, done that in a little bit, and like the last couple times I've done it, I've mainly like been focusing on like baking like a tutorial and explaining everything I do, even though I kind of just do the same thing every day. I've kind of been switching it up a little bit too, but I kind of want to just, you know, do a get ready with me, talk about like new steps in my makeup, my life, all about that, you know, <laughs> just all that junk. So if you want to see that, stay tuned. And if not, I don't know why you clicked on this video. Also, I'm going to be talking about the crazy mess that I fucking did with my hair. Like, I know this shit doesn't look the best and we're going to talk about it and the fucking hell I went through, okay? So let's get started. So how's everybody been doing? I recently just got back on vacation. Kind of vacation. It was my nephew's birthday. He turned four years old. The little nephew I always watch, like, I love him to death, and he turned four years old. So, as a thing, we went to, um, San Diego to SeaWorld for him. And, you know, that was a really fun time. I'm not the biggest fan of SeaWorld, but I went because I love him, and I really just wanted him to have a really good birthday. He, me and him went on rides and stuff, and he kept, want, like, near the end, he really wanted me to go, like, on every ride with him. Like, Abby, no, 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 take me on this ride. Abby, take me on this ride. Auntie Abby, Auntie Abby. And it was just, it was so cute. We, the first day we got there, we left Thursday morning, and we got there around the afternoon time, and we went to the beach. And, like, sorry, I can't talk when I'm doing my neck. And when we were there, like, we, we were just playing in the beach. We went to, like, Mission, not Mission Beach, um... I can't remember what beach it was called. This beach was so much fun. But the funny thing is, right when we got there, and we were like, we were a little late meeting up with like my sister and my brother-in-law and my other nephew. And ah, I got too much. That they were already playing in the ocean. And when we were walking there, it was a little bit of a walk to get to the beach. There was just a guy, just, like sitting out with a bench just selling joints and I thought that was the funniest thing because we were like literally California right now when we, right when we entered in smelled like one fucking like one big joint like the whole place just smelled like marijuana and I was laughing a lot especially the fact that I was with my dad and my dad's friend so it, it was a lot I'm gonna do my eyebrows real quick and then I'll tell you the rest of the story about what happened at the beach I'm really excited I you just I always say this, like, I like to do my eyebrows off camera because I always mess up. And it's just me literally filling them in, like, making them look a little better than they already are. So I'll be back in, like, now. Hey, guys, I'm back. I finished my eyebrows. Again, they're not looking the best. I keep trying with them, but, I, they, like, I, I can't keep, like, like I had to give up at some point. And I had to give up on these ones. I might, actually, no, I might fix that. Like, this eyebrow came out pretty good. This one, not so much. I don't know what's going on. Like, I feel like I could get the shape down. But then right when I start filling in, I feel like, oh, I'm missing a pot spot. <sighs> My eyebrows the last, like, couple weeks have not been looking the best, and I'm trying so hard. Do you ever have that problem? Like, you know, I think everybody has this problem where, like, eyebrows are not twins. They're always, like, sisters or, for me, like, second cousins. But, really? How come every time I want to film my neighbor decides you know this is a really good time to start blowing the lawn we don't even have a lawn it's all concrete Ugh. i swear to go oh my god my eyes i look like a reverse raccoon but what was i gonna say oh yeah back to the whole sea world trip it was so like well the first day we went to the beach and right when we got there and stuff my nephew were already playing they were playing like the um, you know, like, with two paddles and a ball by the ocean. And it looked really fun. Like, my nephew, my other nephew, who is eight, he was playing with his dad and my brother-in-law. And, you know, they were just, like, tossing around. While my nephew would, like, run into the, like, my four-year-old nephew, like, his brother, would run into the ocean and then run right back when the wave would start coming. And when I got there, me and him were doing that, and I was just running the entire time. But we're, <laughs> I'm kind of embarrassed, like, to mention this, but... One of the things is, you know, I would hold him and then we would get hit by a wave. And right when we got there, I was holding him and this wave that came up looked really, like, small. But then immediately got really big. And so when it hit us, I was on my knees. So my nephew was standing up and it hit him away from me. And when I tried to grab him 
the wave hit him and he went under the wave and I'm like oh shit and I couldn't get up because my knees were like trapped in the dirt and I felt like the worst aunt ever so my aunt ever so my sister ran and grabbed my nephew my nephew started crying and they pulled him out five minutes later he was all fine he started running back in the ocean but he did not want to be like he would he was playing with me but he did not want me anywhere near like a wave and holding him even though like 10 minutes later not 10 minutes like 30 minutes later he we were i was holding him again like swinging him around and playing in the ocean we were having a really good fun good time we were there for like an hour or an hour hour and 30 minutes before he decided to go back to the hotel and like settle in when we got back to the shower we decided like to like tucker it down for the night but me my dad and my dad's friend we decided to get dinner and there was a restaurant right next door called dell's hideout I'm not even remotely joking when I say this place was one of the best, like, places I've ever eaten at. Like, so good. Like, sorry, fixing an eyebrow. Can't even see it. But, like, literally we got there, like, right at the nick of time because they were, like, they closed food at 9 o'clock and we got there at 8.55. So we had five minutes to order food before the kitchen closed. So I got, um... A veggie burger my dad got a aki pokey bowl and my dad's friend got this mac and cheese oh my freaking god this stuff was good like my dad gave me a bite of the aki pokey bowl like which is like diced fish and rice and like these little like like fried chips I don't know what they were what they were but it was one of the best food in my mouth and I just kept talking about it the entire time like I wanted to eat that again and I'm like okay when my dad goes to bed tonight I'm gonna sneak out grit food and bring it back because I'm a little fatty and I was excited to try it but you know I didn't we ended up going to a couple more restaurants which I'm gonna talk about right now in a second. for my makeup today I really want to do like this look right here I love the green and I love the blue and I, uh, I it looks it just looks so pretty and I love like blues and greens and I'm thinking I'm gonna do this look maybe without like a super bright green and do like a gray lip because I've been wanting to no wait I gotta go out Oh, I just remembered I have an eye doctor's appointment today, guys, to see if I can get contacts for the first time ever, finally. And I'm gonna do my makeup like this. I'm the lip. I don't know. Let's just get, let's just see where it takes us. Um, the next day, when we were in San Diego, we just we went to um, Sea World. We got all ready. It was like a fast thing. We got up at like 10 in the morning, got ready. We got breakfast at the hotel, and we went. All day at Sea World. Most of the time, we went on rides. We didn't really like go check the animals. We saw like a couple shows. We um, like we never like really went to go see the animals. Oh, it was just like rides and shows, which I wasn't mad at. It was all for my nephew. Whatever he wanted to do, and he wanted to go on rides and shows. First thing we did there was we went on a ride, like the swing ride, and my nephew was just like loving it, laughing, crying. It was the funniest thing. Like I, when I say I was in love, I mean I was in love. Like. It was just, it was so cute. Um, but later, like, later on in the day, we were taking a break at, like, the Sesame Street little thing they had there. Oh, God, I don't even want to say this. My nephew wanted me to go in with him. This play place is gigornic, gigornic, ginormic, and, and there's so much in it that you have to do. Like, we climbed upstairs, we went, like, the rope ladder, with, like, the little page and we're running up and down it and then I went had to go through a tube you know with my nephew the thing is I'm claustrophobic as fuck like I do not like small spaces at all I like I refuse I wanted to refuse but my my nephew insisted and I was already in the tube with them and I it was my job to keep an eye on the kids so you know I had no business saying no and also, like, <sighs> I'm kind of embarrassed to say this, but why, when we were getting through the tube, this tube was also, like, no joke, like, 60, 70 feet of just tube, and my knees are not built for that. My knees the entire time were aching, and they hurt, because I have, like, weird kneecaps. I'm not even going to go into any detail on it, but it just hurt so freaking much. Like, it hurt so much that I was borderline on the verge of crying, like, crawling through it. And my knees, when I got out, were, like, red and, like, bruised, like, starting to bruise. Like, that's how badly it hurt. But that wasn't the end of it. No, no, no. Not just the tube. Then it went to this little pocket area, 
and I, my nephews were ahead of me, and they were going down this rope into net, like netting. And when I saw them go down, I said, hey, wait for me. Of course, they didn't listen, and they were going down. And my little nephew, the one who, was tur who turned four, was going down, and he fell. So I freaked out and tried to crawl after it, not knowing that there was a three-foot gap to the bottom of this thing, and the fact that I'm too big to even be in this tube to begin with, so I couldn't just, like, turn myself around to get out of the tube. So I ended up face-planting onto this ground as hard as possible, not knowing that I had hurt myself really badly until I got out of the area, which I'll explain right now. The thing is, right when I fell, there was a dad and his little son. He dropped his son to be like, oh, are you okay? And I'm like, fine. And I just immediately like hurried because I saw my nephew fall. He was fine. He fell into netting. He was laughing. I thought he got hurt. And I look like an idiot because of the fact that... I fell on my face, and then I had to go down this rope as well to get into the knitting. I'm not, I'm honestly not the most, fit, I'm not a fit person, so I can't go down this goddamn rope like a fucking Spider-Man or G.I. Joe, like, to get down for my life. I'm, like, two feet, like, and this rope is, like, not joking, like, ten feet. So I'm, caught, like, going down it, and within the first, like, foot to foot and a half, I just fall, and I fall in the netting, and I'm just like, this thing is meant for kids? Like, I was in so much pain, and I'm, like, I'm just at the point, like, ready to just give up and get out, and we have to crawl through this netting, and it's, like, big patches, like, 25 feet netting to go to another net, to another net, to another net, to the bottom. Like, kids are meant to get, like, like, tuckered out by this, and by the time I finally got down, I was on the verge of actual tears, guys. I'm not joking at all. Like, I wanted to cry. I hated my life. Like, I was just done at this point. Like, I got off, and I finally, like, felt all the pain hit me and realized that I had red marks on my head. I had road rash on my arm, on my palm, and my knees and stuff were, like, red and starting to bruise. Insert pictures now. So, like, I just immediately decided to sit down for a while, and I was, like, out of breath. I was exhausted. I was, like, <sighs> like, I, like, like, kind of over being over dramatic, but I had the right to. I was hurting. Like, I was beyond pain. And, of course, my dad and his friend were mocking me, being assholes, even though I love them. Do not take that to heart. But I was just, like, at this point, you know, like, I don't want to fucking do this again. God damn, I hate this. I'm, like... I'm, like, suffering at this point. I'm, like, you know, I don't want to do this anymore. Why do we got to do this? Like, you know. But I was already done with it, so I don't know why, like, I was still complaining. But finally, like, they were still playing, and then finally they got tuckered down. We got, like, food and stuff. I was just done, though. I was beyond done. But, yeah, for, like, the rest of the day, we were just, like, walking around. We, like, looked at the last shows. And also, like, you know, in the beginning of, like, Sea World, they had like those little things for kids like to touch the animals like sharks and we did the cleaner fish when we first got there and right when we left. Oh my god, those things are weird. I enjoyed it for the fact that my hands got clean, but I hated that million kiss feeling so, 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 so much. It did not feel right, guys. Like, it did not feel right at all. Like, I took my hand out, but it, I took my hand out, and it was soft. Like, it was, like, abnormally soft. So, like, those things did do a good job. And I looked at my cuticles, which are, like, shit now, because it's been, like, a week. Not a week, but, like, yeah, yeah, you know, yes, a week. And it has been a week. And they look like shit again, because I have, <laughs> we're going to get to the hair right now, bleached my hair and destroyed them, and we'll explain that right now. But, like, after SeaWorld, again, we went out to dinner. We just ended up staying at the hotel for a little bit, but me, my dad, and his friend, we ended up going to this place called the World Market for, like, an hour or two hours, which had every crazy goddamn thing in my entire life that I wanted to try and wasn't loved. I thought, I'm like, ooh, does it have, like, they had 
Japanese Kit Kats. Like, they didn't have a lot of them, so I ended up not getting them because they only had cranberry and dark chocolate, which was kind of disappointing. But I was just, like, in awe to the fact that this market even existed. It's, like, me in a market. Like, I like weird shit, guys. Like, if you didn't know that by now, hi, my name's Abby. I'm a weirdo. I like weird shit. And it had a lot of weird shit. And one of the things they had there that I really wanted to get was gross weird sodas which you know by you know which was weird like they had an apple beer soda a pumpkin spice soda a butter beer soda um cucumber soda and blackberry cherry like never had that because i live in arizona we don't got i live in yuma we don't got weird shit like that we just had our normal like sprite and coke kind of deal or like weirder soda is Manzina, the ap Mexican apple soda, but I've had that so many times. But the apple beer soda tasted like sour apple soda. The pumpkin spice one tasted like shit. Like, actually tasted like shit. I was like, I already knew it was probably going to taste like shit, but it was actually bad. The butterscotch one, like the butter beer, like made me want to throw up. Like, I don't like super sweet, sour things. And that was super duper sweet. I like, uh, don't get me wrong, I like my sweets. But I don't like it too sweet. The funny thing, the funniest thing of all is that the cucumber soda was my favorite by far. Like, it's expect, it, it tasted like a lemon-lime soda with, like, a hint of cucumber in it. Like a Sprite with cucumber. And it was delicious. Like, I really liked it. It wasn't super sour. It wasn't super sweet. It was refreshing. I really liked it. Oh, my God. I look, I, st I, I still look crazy, don't I? I'm gonna, um cut my crease right now hopefully and I think I'm gonna add a white like because when I look in the photo it's definitely white it's like a white with a blue shimmer so like I'm gonna cut I'm gonna try I hate cutting my crease I hate it with a passion you guys already know this I'm going to cut it and set it and I'll be right back well goddamn if that wasn't hell right now I freaking hate cut creases I'm trying to do like more stuff with my eyes and I can't do it I hate it I hate cut creases I hate it with a passion but yeah, the place about the world market was really fun. Like I saw stuff I've I wanted to get like crazy, like like from new couches. Like by the way, I like furniture and stuff. I like like home decor. Like I try to decorate my room. I know it's not the best right now. It's a little messy. But like I really like like stuff like that and decorating my house. And we got a lot of stuff, which I'll show you at the end of the video. Like we got two signs for our room, our kitchen that says "Screw it" and "What the fork." So yeah. Yeah, the trip was really fun. We went to a lot of cool places. I went to Dave and Buster's for the first time, which was pretty awkward. Um, not bad food. Not bad food at all. Um, I wish they had more stuff for me to eat because I, even though I'm a pescatarian now, I still couldn't find anything for me to eat besides another vegetarian burger. Which is, by the way, the funniest thing is, most of the time there, I had to eat, like, veggie burgers. Like, we went to this place called Hodad's, by the way, if you haven't been there, it's freaking amazing. It's a burger place. They had a vegetarian burger. Freaking delicious. When we went to, um, that Dell's Hideout, vegetarian, veggie burger. When we went to Dave and Buster's, veggie burger. Like, it was crazy. I don't wanna be here. I have Scotty Sire stuck in my head. Like, I don't really listen to his music, but... That one song that goes, I don't want to be here, is like stuck in my head. And I that's like, like the one song I actually like from him. It's not bad. It's not a bad song, guys. But the thing is, I don't listen to any of, any of his other music besides like Mr. Glassman. I, I tried to get into it. His music is just not my style. I like to listen to like punk and stuff. And if I do listen to anything else, it has a little bit of rap, a little bit of pop, mainly metal and rock. I think you guys already knew that, considering I did my top 10 favorite song videos earlier. Yeah, but SeaWorld was fun. I think I'm done, like, telling the story. That was literally it. We went to Alpine for a little bit for a little shopping experience where my dad actually got me um, $200 Oakley sunglasses as a very early birthday present, which was very nice of him. I did not expect to, me to get sunglasses. I thought we are there to walk around maybe and get a pretzel. I don't know. It was very weird. Funny thing is that everybody told me, do not do your makeup for an eye doctor's appointment. I should know better considering I go to the eye doctor once a year. 
because I'm blind as hell. But no, I'm like, no, I want to do my makeup. I want to do my makeup today. I haven't done my makeup in forever. Let me do my makeup. But, yeah, I am just going to an eye doctor's appointment today. And I'm going all out for it. All out, mofos. I've been kind of avoiding the jelly highlighter lately. I really like it still. But, like, I've been wanting to do it under my foundation, but I've just been too freaking scared. And I've been wanting to do this thing to make my eyes shine a little more, which is you put it under, you know, where you put your highlight, but you put it real close to your eyes, so when you put your foundation, there's a little glow, you know? And I've been really liking that. By the way, this stuff, you only need the littlest bit, like, which is great. I'm not gonna, I don't care about putting it on, like, too perfect and stuff, where my foundation is gonna go over. Go over it, like, ooh, that's a little, I did put a little too much on one side. So I'm going to, I need to hurry because my mom's going to pick me up at 3.30 and it's 2 o'clock and usually I could be done by now. I've been doing this since 12.30 but because I'm filming, you know, it, it takes a lot longer. So, yeah. I'm using the um, Maybelline Dream Urban Cover. I'm still loving this foundation. It's so good. I like to mix it usually but today I kind of feel like being a little darker. Because usually with this hair being a little dark, like darker of my foundation, it looks really good. Like, I love it. Oh. My. Fucking. God. This entire time I was not recording. Not recording. And I just spilled on about freaking everything. About the hair. You got to be freaking kidding me. I want you to see my reaction right now because I was like... Wait, why is my phone going out? I never pressed record! So you missed everything I was just talking about. Like, I put on, like, the jelly highlighter so you could see a glow. I was talking about, um, why this new, like, I like my foundation a little darker now. Because before I was going lighter because my, ne my neck is lighter than everything else. But no! My whole thing was not freaking recording! Oh my god! So I'm gonna have to tell you guys everything all over again. Oh god, kill me. Like, I actually am a little angry right now. Not even joking. Oh, my God, guys. I'm like, I am just not in the proper headspace right now because what I was literally just talking about is that what happened was when I decided to dye my hair, when I decided to dye my hair, I originally wanted to wait for my mom to do it because my mom has done my hair every time. Most of the times, and every time she does it, it comes out really nicely and my hair is a little bit more healthy. But, this time around, you know, Sarah was like, oh, let me do it. By the way, she doesn't watch my videos, so she doesn't care about, like, talk shit about her. So, well, I talk about shit about her all the time, so, she in front of her face, too. But, like, she was just like, so when are you going to do it? And I was like, oh, when I get my next paycheck, maybe, so my mom could do it. Because my mom has been talking about, like, we are waiting for, like, her to be ready, for me to be ready, like, until I got my next paycheck, because, like, the last couple paychecks I was saving up for the SeaWorld trip, and I can't talk when I do this. I just wanted to wait, and also the thing is, I'm a major cheapskate, like, I am cheap. If you guys don't know that about me, now you do. I am cheap. When it comes to, like, makeup and stuff, that's the only thing I'm not cheap about. Like, if I have, to, if I get makeup, like, you guys know that. With all the makeup I have, I'm not, but when it comes to, like, for example, things I need, shampoo, conditioner, razors, I am cheap. I don't care. Just admit that. I won't. I don't like to spend money on things that I actually need. Like, especially like right now. Like, I'm almost out of shampoo and conditioner, but I don't want to spend the money. I honestly don't. I. Eh! I. Oh, I spilled powder all over me. I don't want to spend the money to more. So I just put water in it and water it down, and then use the oil for my hair to make sure it's all luscious. But the thing is, Sarah's like, oh, why don't you just get it done already? You have money. And it's like, I don't want to spend that money. I don't get paid until next Friday. And she was like, oh, come on. You know, like. <laughs> and also the fact that I had stuff to return to get more money back because I spent money on the trip. So, you know, who wants to, like, you get what, you get my drift. But the thing is, I didn't want to, like, just, you know, up and do my hair out of the blue. Because it's already late at night. We just got home from SeaWorld. Like, just got home from a couple hours and we're just hanging out the house kind of deal just you know lounging around like I wasn't expecting to get my hair done that night 
So the thing is, I kind of like gave in and I decided to buy all the stuff. All the stuff. All the stuff cost me $50. I bought a huge giant thing of bleach, another thing of developer. I bought two dyes and a toner, you know? And the thing was, I knew that my I needed a lot of bleach because my hair, every time I've bleached my hair, they've had every, like, even when I go to a stylist, they've had to make bucket after bucket after bucket after bucket of bleach because even if my hair's this long, it takes a lot of bleach, and I need that. Like, I know that's gonna sound bad, but like, I need it because of the fact that my hair is so thick, and I have so much of it, so. Like, can you actually get mad at me for that? No! Why would ya? Why would ya? So, when we got to the house, she ended up putting the bleach in my hair, and after like, you know, 30, 35 minutes, almost 40, because we had to pick up our friend and then we had to wait for food that wouldn't come out. We came home and when we took it out and washed it, brown spot, brown spot, orange, yellow. I had a mental breakdown. Like not even joking. They're like, it's not even that bad. Like to me, I look like shit. Like I like to have my hair nice. So like, because that's the one thing people can agree like they like about me is like my hair. So like, nice, this looks like shit. I'm like, what are, you, what are you talking about? Like, I was getting angry at them, I was cursing at them. Like, so they're like, it's not even that bad. I'm like, shut up, it does not look good. It looks bad, brown spot. And she's like, it, you can't even see brown. But them like pulled my hair back. What are you talking about that? It's fucking brown. Like, so like after 15 minutes of having a mental breakdown, they finally, uh, we had enough developer, enough developer to just do one more batch of bleach. So we did it, and it came out much better this time around. And, but the thing is, it came out like a yellow blonde, not what I wanted, and I didn't have enough bleach to do toner and stuff, and they ended up having to go because it was already super late at night. So, you know, that sucks, <laughs> that sucked for me. So I had to wait until the next day, not even joking, to get more developer and stuff, but the thing is, I was busy. I had church we went out to breakfast you know i had like errands to run because we just got home and oh i'm like it thinking about it still makes me angry so i just i had to stick with this ugly yellow blonde until i could get more developer finally got more developer around like five o'clock and immediately right when i get home i started doing my hair i put in the toner i waited the 30 minutes with the toner in my hair it did do a good job not even joking but there's still a ton of yellow spots i could have left it as is but the thing is i didn't want the yellow you know? Who wants the yellow? Who wants yellow hair? Like, unless it's a, a cool yellow, not an ugly blonde yellow. And it was, like, kind of patchy, too, because, like, it covered my hair, but it did. Ju it just didn't take, you know? And I hate when that happens. So I decided, you know, to go in with the dye, because I originally wanted that, like, silvery, ashy blonde, platinum blonde hair, but I just knew that I wasn't going to be able to get it that day. So And I, I, want, I want gray hair. Like, I love gray hair. Gray hair is my favorite thing I've ever done with my hair. So I'm like, okay, we'll just go in with the gray dye because I knew like that was an opportunity. Like I was gonna save the gray dye for another day so I can have like the platinum hair for a while, like the platinum blonde hair, but it just, it just didn't happen. So I ended up putting the gray in. And it, again, I'm not sure if you could tell like if I go closer, it still didn't take to certain spots, but it doesn't look as bad as it did before. I'll put in a picture right here. So the thing is, I'm not mad with my hair. I'm not mad with it at all. I'm just mad at the fact that I let Sarah do it and not my mom. Like, my mom would have did a fucking amazing job. My mom has done my hair so many times. She knows what she's doing when she does hair, you know? So, next time I dye my hair, I'm just going to go to my mom. Mom, if you ever watch this, I love you and thank you for always doing my hair good. Doing it justice. And for Sarah, if you ever watch this, because I know you're not, you're not allowed to do my hair ever again. Never again. Like, you know, I love Sarah. She's a good friend to me, she, even though sometimes she is an asshole to me. But trust me, I know you've seen her on camera before and she's kind of an asshole to me, but I'm not joking. She actually is a really good friend, but I just don't trust her with my hair in, anymore. Like that, like, I just, like, I freaked out way too much. I had so much anxiety. I was so angry. I was being so mean to them. Like, I just, I, like, I couldn't, I wasn't myself. I just turned into, like, this whole different person of just pure evil, like... <laughs> Like, cursing them out. Like, and my friend Fernando is there, too. 
Like, like being mean to her, like, it looks bad. Shut the fuck up. Stop playing with my fucking cards. You know, you stop acting like everything's fucking okay. Like, I was being like, I got angry because my hair looked like shit at first. But now that it's gotten to this, I'm not mad at it, you know? You know, I'm thinking in a couple weeks to let it settle, actually settle, I'll buy more of the gray hair dye and put it in my hair. Because right now, my, my hair is, I'm not even joking, it's fried. It's beyond fried. It is not the best. I, I, I can't even lie about that. You know, it doesn't feel like it did before because before I had grown out all of that, you know, dyed bad hair and it looked, it felt healthy and it felt really good, but now it feels dry and dead again, which is, which sucks and, you know, it's life. But the thing is, we also were filming a video like of the dyeing hair process so I could send it to Brad Mondo. But it just came out so bad at first, and I had such a bad, like, a thing. And also the fact that Sarah was making too many inappropriate jokes that I couldn't, like, put it in. And that sucks for me, because I really, like, I really want to do it. And I had, like, two hours of footage that I just decided to delete because of the fact that I just couldn't do it anymore. Besides, like, the whole hair thing, I'm going to try to, like, bring it back to life. I've been, like, putting oil. I'm just waiting till I get my next check so I can buy, like, more hair stuff, like a hair mask uh leave-in condition more leave-in conditioner and i'm gonna start doing deep conditioning treatments if you haven't heard of that it's where you get a shit ton of conditioner you put it on your entire head like lather it like put too much you know like you wrap it in a towel or a bag to keep it damp i'm not gonna say the word because you know i hate that word <laughs> you, you like keep it damp and stuff and you go to bed with it or you keep it on for a couple hours during the day and I'm thinking about getting some tea tree oil because my mom does that and her hair is always like super healthy. Like more tea tree oil. I actually have some tea tree oil but it's like for your face so I'm not sure like if it would be good for like hair. But he's like, I'm also like kind of, I was a little shocked that my, where I work, I'm not going to say where I work, but where I work, I thought they wouldn't like my hair because like they, like they let you dye your hair but they don't like, like, like super like for example exaggerate colors you're not like to allow you're there you're not allowed to like dye your hair super like neon-y colors like bright neon green but you're allowed to have some color in your hair like my I had a coworker with like blue ends so i was like i'm a little worried like what are they gonna think of my hair they loved it they were like complimenting it like i love my coworkers. they are such cool people besides all that the hair the sea world i also have some really good news for you guys if you don't follow me well, I know some of you don't follow me on my personal Instagram. I'm not going to put my personal Instagram anymore. I used to do that because it was the only Instagram I had. But that one I'm just, like, saving for family. But I have my makeup Instagram now. I haven't posted on my makeup Instagram. But I'm going to be an auntie again, my sister. She's pregnant. And I'm so excited because I love my nephews. They're such good kids, you know. I, I especially love little Zayden because he is, like... He is a little smart ass. Not even joking. He's a, he is his mom he, in a baby form. Like, he's also super talented. Like, this little three year like, at age two, was riding a bike. He knows how to ride a bike without training wheels. He knows how to ride a dirt bike. A dirt bike. He's four years old and he got a, a gas dirt bike. Like, like, this kid is beyond just, like, talented. Like, I, I, <laughs> I admire this kid. I love him. I've been watching him ever since the day he was born. You know, me and him have such a special bond that I, I, I can't explain. Like, I just, I, I love, I really, like, love this kid. I treat him like his F, like if he was my own son. And when my other nephew, Damien, he is, like, the smartest kid on planet Earth. I love him to death. He's a little smartass, though. Like, he'll be like, well, actually, this means that, like, when I, like, say something, I'm like, no. Like, get your facts straight, kid. Like, he is, he's a little smartass, but I love him. I love him to death. What are you guys thinking? So far. I know I need to wipe my bake off, but I always do that after bronzer, and I'm almost done with it. I might not even, like, diffuse my bronzer today. I'm liking it. I feel like a bronze goddess. I know my face, like, on camera, my face does not match my chest at all, but in actual life, I'm not even joking, it matches so much better. Cause I know this looks really dark and also the fact that I put bronzer on it, but I'm being like legit serious. This and this, I know that like, that's a big difference, but it's actually very similar when I look in the mirror. Like this is still really dark, like because of the fact that it does not match my neck. My neck is super light, but my face to my chest looks very like similar and, you know, good. 
when you try to do mascara and you poke yourself. Ah! I'm gonna wait for it to dry, flick it off, and try, and try to fix it. I hate when this happens to me. I was wiping it off because I bumped myself before it dried, and then I smeared it. It was not even that bad. I know it doesn't look that bad on camera, but in real life, it looks like shit. Why do I keep doing this? Ah! I said, fuck it. If I'm going to go out today, I'm going to look like a boss-ass bitch. Even at my doctor's appointment, they're going to be looking at me like, what the fuck? So, again, I'm going to fix this and be right back. I don't know why this shit just keeps happening to me. I gotta be ready in like 30 minutes. And guess what? I'm not sure if you can tell because I just covered it up. But when I went to scratch off it, you know, scratch off the concealer, it took off fucking foundation. Of course it had to. Of course, right? When I have to leave the house, it has to fucking do that, right? So I tried putting foundation on it, like a little bit, just to cover up the little spot. It didn't cover. It removed a shit ton more. So then I spent well over 15 minutes to cover it it's still not covered but you know what i'm gonna pack a shit ton of bronzer on the side of my nose and a shit ton of highlight it'll be okay i'll be okay i will be okay okay guys after 15 minutes of trying to fix everything i have finished my face and i'm gonna go get dressed right now but i'm gonna say my final goodbyes i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys enjoyed this get ready with me for just going to an eye doctor's appointment. I know I went a little too much out, but I don't care. I'm gonna walk in being like, yes, look at me. I'm a boss ass bitch. Also, in fact, if I'm gonna get contacts, I wanna see if they can hold up to these, this level of makeup. Yeah, I'm, you know me, you know me. But <laughs> again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe to me. Remember to click that little bell icon to see more videos from me, and have a wonderful day. Bye.